Okay, so here we have a typical insulation on a Citizen sliding head machine. The unit, as you can see here, has just been teed off from the normal oil or around oil pump. This is the main pump that pumps into the machine for cooling. So we're just teeing off with the unit, just teeing off the system in a nice easy place to install the unit with the T system here and the unit here. So obviously the machine would be off while we installed it. Um, and we just, when the machine is on, we take a small amount of oil that goes through the system. It goes, jets through a nozzle system, a specially designed nozzle disc system that goes through here and then goes through the outlet pipe and then straight through to the sump of the machine. That is actually powering the unit. So we're just using a small amount of oil, 0.1 bar, less than 0.1, and therefore we create a sideways suction. Now this hose here is a hose that we'll show you in a moment that is in, has a filtered vacuum um, cup that sits in the bottom of the swarf bin. And that filters and that oil that is dragged out in the swarf and into the swarf bin is then automatically, as soon as the machine is working, it is automatically sucking and creating the suction that creates drains the bin and brings it back into the sump of the machine. So that needs no manpower to do that. That works automatically when the machine is on. So therefore, once it's all set and running, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so we've seen how the unit works by the, um, how it's installed and how it looks on the oil pump side of things. We're now gonna have a look at where we're actually vacuuming from. And we've got the actual, as you can see, where the hose comes off to, we're actually, it's got the vacuum cup inside the swarf bin after the conveyor. It's sitting at the bottom of the bin, but we also put a surround around it. This, we also supply this as part of the kit. Um, and this actually protects the vacuum cup when we're pulling it in and out the swarf. The actual vacuum cup itself can actually sit in the swarf because it's filtered, which I'll show you in a moment. So this actually, as you can see here, has a filtered doors in there, filtered in there. So every time the unit is on, it will be sucking up and you can see it pulsing there. We've also got a non-return valve in the top here. So the oil will only ever go one way, as you can see from there. So as soon as the system's on, this will be sucking and filtered at the bottom. It's easy to take, put in and out of the machine very quickly. Then they can take the swarf bin away, empty, bring it back and then straight back again. There's no need to actually turn the unit on or off. It doesn't matter if it's sucking up oil or if it's just sitting in the bin, it's working all the time. So what we get, in fact, is a nice dry swarf bin and we're saving all that wasted oil that comes up into the bin.